Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up basket using my new 3D Delights pop-up die set. This die set will allow you to make a single, double or triple tiered pop-up. You can have a three-tiered cake, two-tiered cake or a single cake. You can make a pop-up cup, hat, basket. You could just have it as a circle pop-up and then you can have anything you want coming out of it. So it's a bit like a pop-up box card in that sense. There's so many ways to use this. And as always, I cannot wait to see what you share over on the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group. You can also send me emails because not everybody's on Facebook. So if you do make anything using my dies, drop me an email. And you can find that linked below the video. So for today's card, I'm going to use the new papers. I'm going to use my sentiments. These are the new circle sentiments with the dies. And then I'm also using the floral and hat set and the love and cake set. So with the main one here, you get 19 dies. You've got all of your workings there and you've got your two main base plates there. I'm not going to be using these ones today because I'm going to pop it into a card blank. But if you don't want to add this to a six by six card blank, then you would use these. And I'll just show you an example. So here you can see I've got a little pop up snowman's hat. That is the card and that all folds flat and then you can write your message on the back here. I'm going to add another white piece there so I can write my message. You can see how that all then pops open. So if you want to have it as a standalone like this, then you would need these two. But I'm going to show you how to add it into a card. So first of all, you want to cut two of this die here. So you've got these two pieces. I like to go over all the score lines. So just use your scoreboard and just go back over those. You're going to fold them so they're all out like this. And then you want to stick them back to back. Now I'm using a craft card today. This is about a 280 GSM. Craft card isn't the best to use with your liquid glues because it absorbs a lot of the glue. But I'm using the construction glue and the key is just to let this completely dry. So you want to use a construction glue ideally because it will strengthen and make everything just really strong, which is great when you're working with any kind of pop ups or kinetic cards. So you can see just sticking them back to back, you want all of these tabs exposed like so. But just leave that now to dry completely. You then want to cut yourself two of this die here. So it's the largest of the three tiers. This is your bottom tier, you've got your medium tier, and then you've got your small top tier here. So two of the largest one. Okay. And then from the love and cake set i've die cut the trellis here and that's going to go over the front here so it looks like my basket i've just used my i think it was vintage photo distress oxide ink just to go around the edges there again go over all of the score lines on your, with your scoreboard there so i've got that one ready and then you want to cut one of the largest circle and then these here are your kind of builder tabs. So you don't always need these, but these will go into these slots here. Like so. And you can now stick whatever you want and build up from those. OK, so I'm going to be probably using a couple of those. I've then cut the basket handle twice from the floral and hat set. And I've also cut and stamped with using my embossing powder there, the large bow, which I thought would look nice in the middle of the bouquet. And then I've used the flowers here and the leaves, and I've taken this one here as well. You've got the leaves there. And I've just used all of my like autumnal color cardstock, and you can see how they all look. So when you stamp them, because these are stamp and die sets, you can see you get your middle detail on the flowers there, but I've also inked up the card. So that was an orange card, but I've inked the edges with red and then used the gold embossing powder. And you just get some really lovely effects and you can see the other leaf there, as, leaf there as well. So you get all of those pieces ready. And then I've stamped and heat embossed two sentiments because I'm going to have a basket full of love on the front of the card. And then this is going to be stuck on the inside, but right behind it. So as it flips over, you're going to have two different sentiments. You can see you get all the different ones there and you get all of your circle dies there as well to cut those. I've also prepared myself a six by six card blank here. So this was a piece of eight by six card and along the eight inch side, I've scored at six inches. 
I then stuck a piece of six by six acetate on that two inch tab. And then I've covered both sides with a piece of two by six pattern paper. I've popped a piece of six by six on the back there. And this is gonna be a bottom fold card. So when you bring this down, the bouquet is gonna pop up. But the nice thing is, is that they'll be able to see the card as well when they take it out of the envelope because you've got the acetate there. You don't have to have an acetate front. This could just be a plain cardstock blank, six by six card blank. But I do like adding the acetate. So that's still drying. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is. And I'm gonna work on these pieces here. So what I recommend that you do is add a little curve into these pieces because this is the shape that they're going to take when they're popped up and if you cut the mats and layers as well do the same with those and again I've gone over the score lines there the tabs are actually the bottom so it's going to be this way okay and I'm also going to add a curve into this piece and I've just used again the distress oxide ink all over that I'm then going to use my liquid glue and I'm going to attach this to one of these sides. Like so. I've then cut the mat layer there in white card and that's gonna be for the back where I write my message. And you can see that one there fits perfectly with a nice frame. I've then added some glue to the tab here and we're gonna stick these together like so. Just leave that for a minute. And then again, just adding my glue all down the other tab there. If you just fold that under, you can fold the whole thing flat. And that way, you know it's gonna go flat in your envelope, but it should just pop up because you've added that curve. Whilst that one's drying, you wanna stick your frames together. I like to add two. You can just add one, but I think adding two just does make it nice and strong. And again, I've inked those up and just make sure the tabs are folded outwards because they're going to be needed to attach it inside the card. So you're just sticking the arch part together. So you want to make sure that the tabs are sticking out like so. So I'm going to leave that one to dry. And then with these two now, you want to fold this one so the tabs are folded down. And then that middle score line is a valley. So you, so you should have these two like little wings and then that valley fold. This will slot into that piece there and go right the way down. Okay. So what you want to do is add glue. And I'm going to use again the construction glue here. You want to make sure now you slide this right down. Okay. And then push up the sides and again like so actually you should have a little bit overhanging each side but that has to all be butted right along there okay once they're all secure when you open it you've got your first tier now this here you may not always need if you're doing a single tier i show you on the coffee cup i snip that away completely or as I'm going to keep it today because I want to build up my flowers on this and then also have some here and also maybe at the back so you can make it really full. So now these are all dry we can start attaching them to the card. So this is a slightly different way of putting it together because if you're making like I showed you the snowman's hat you've got these slots here that you add it to so it's going to be your guide there you can see how that will look when it opens up. Well, we don't have that on here so what you want to do first of all is I'm going to work with the back and I'm going to use my construction glue. It's going to take a little bit longer to dry, but it's going to be nice and secure. And I just want to cover all of that back tab. OK. I'm going to pop this one inside and open up the circle and it will. It's a snug fit. That's how you want it to be. OK, doesn't matter how it looks at this point. You just want that shape. And then you want to line up the folds here and here with the fold of your card. That's the front where the acetate is. Fold that tab under. Make sure you've got it in the middle of your card, which I think, yeah, maybe a little bit more that side. That's about right. OK, and then just tilt it back until you can feel underneath. Put your finger down until you can feel that tab. If I just let that drop, there's that tab just there 
okay that's where you now need that to stay and secure itself and keep it nice and straight so just pop it back again again make sure that that's all straight those score lines line up with each other which they do and again i'm just going to tilt that back i'm just going to leave that now to dry once you're happy that that's in place you can take that out now fold this flat and just make sure it's straight i'm just going to turn that ever so slightly and actually i can just move it across which is why you want to use liquid glue there we go so just so i've got an equal amount there i can then add my glue on that side okay and then close the card so that's how it's going to look so it's all nice and straight i've got an equal amount on each side i'm just going to pop something heavy on there for the minute and just leave that okay so everything should be dry now now when you open this you're going to have that kind of shape it's the circle once that's added that's going to you know bring this top part so it's more circular so now you want to add your glue along these two tabs here okay now you have to make sure that you get this in the middle of this circle so what i like to do is pop it in so it sits on the fold there okay i'm just gonna if you grab a ruler and just measure so this is a six by six card so it's like one and three eighths that side and one and three eighths that side so now it's in the middle if you open up the circle and just kind of let it sit in there it will be snug it's got to be to hold it open but you can see now once the tabs are stuck in but it all opens in its 3d shape that's what you want it to do and just grab some tweezers just to kind of pop that out and now just focus on securing that kind of wing part so this in here so just close the card and again just leave that so that's all secure and then i went to stick down these tabs and realized i hadn't popped these ones in so you need to do these first before these pieces now you may not want to use these but there's little slots just here and you'll see once they go in they give you these extra areas like i said to build up now you might want to do two stuck together it's going to be really snug to get them in there but what it means you can do stick them together and then pop them through like so okay and then split it open like that and stick one that side and one that side you add your glue there as well and it just means it's definitely going to stay upright which is what i'm going to do but you can add one if you want but it might topple back slightly so I'm just going to use, again, the construction glue on this main part here. So like the mushroom, let's call them little mushrooms, actually, that's what they look like. Stick those two together. Probably not going to add them to the back. I did cut two more there, but I think I'm just going to have the one at the front because I'm going to build up quite a lot. So you probably won't really see the back ones anyway. OK, so they're in place there and then slot those back through like so and then i'm just going to add liquid glue on that side and stick that one down it would just go up to the score line of this piece here okay you can just see where i folded that one and then I can just get in there again if you know you're adding these and i would stick these on before you've added the circle onto this piece but i just want to make sure that i get this in the video so that i've not missed it okay so if i show you how that looks underneath you see they're folded both out and stuck to the this side and then when i go to stick these in so again if i just pretend that's all secure in there like so there we go you can see that that you can see how that stays upright so I'll be adding flowers onto this. So it just creates a bit of a foreground and then you've got the background here, okay? So now that is secure, I'm not gonna add, like I said, one to the back. So just pop this back out again. And now we wanna secure these pieces in. So I'm adding glue to each side there, okay? And then just bring the whole card up, make sure they fold down 
and just close the card okay and just leave that now to completely dry again make sure it's completely straight this piece here okay so that's all secure so now when it opens up it will lock itself in place and you'll see your card will stay open there now with the handle when you're adding it into a card you're going to have to stip the handle a little bit shorter so i've just opened up the sides there and just brought it down because all of when you add all of the additions, it's going to make the card bigger. So I think when it's full size, it will fit in a six by eight card blank if you did want to keep it as full size. But I've just reduced this down and I also don't need all of this. This you can snip if you're not adding the extra tiers, snip this down. So I'm going to take a good chunk off there. And then I've just, like I said, opened up the sides and just brought that down. If you want to know how, you know, just to check, this is going to stick on the folds in here. It's all going to be kind of disguised with the flowers. But you want to make sure it's going to stay within your 6 by 6 size there. So I'm just going to put my glue on each side there. Make sure that they're folded so they're like little wings. And then it's only going to be as wide as that circle. So just... Go in there and just make sure that you push it right down into the folds there. And then you can just close up the card there and just secure that in place. Okay, now you've got your pop-up handle. So then I can just decorate it all. So I've got tons of flowers here. I've got my hot glue gun on and I'm going to start building up the flowers all around this kind of middle part. On the front, I'm going to have some down here. And then my sentiment's going to be kind of up here. And then the idea is when you open it on the reverse side, I'm going to have the happy birthday over the top. So you've got two different sentiments there. So I'm going to get this all stuck down. So that's the card all finished. That's how it looks when it's folded flat. So that will fit into one of my six by six box envelopes. And then you've got your sentiment, a basket full of love on the front. And then when you open it up, the whole basket pops up and then you've got happy birthday on the inside. I've also added another little bit in the corner there because that looks quite nice when it's all folded. Just looks like it's part of the bouquet, but I think it's quite nice just to kind of fill that space there. You may have that as your space to write your message, but I've popped the white piece of card there on the back so I can write my message there. But I love it. I think it's really nice. It stands up really well and it's just got such a lovely look about it. And, you know, you don't have to use the flowers that I've used. You can use any flowers that you have. So if you've got my flowers and foliage from my last collection, that will look lovely with this basket design. So as always, thank you for watching today. I will link all of the product that I've used in the description box below. Popping up now will be the other cards that I've made using the single tier. So you can go and watch those next if you like. And if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. And that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.